All right, looking straight out behind all the houses, you're looking straight out to the ocean. There is a bit of an ocean view from this backyard. It's actually, I can see all the way the horizon, which is kind of nice. So if you did do a pool back here and a pool deck, I can see the end of Lanai out there. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, that's kind of cool. I'd carefully design this. Maybe you'd have a couple steps up and you could have a little gazebo back here possibly and something you know you have to look at your homeowner association and what they'll let you do but it does have potential uh, and there's a corridor view so if we come back in it looks like here's the AC system front door kitchen dining Milgard windows they're very good windows great warranty They'll put them up, pretty much replace them. So now there's a double double opening here from the kitchen, dining, living area, and you come in and you're gonna have your two suites here. Uh, if you went to the right, you'd come into the big master suite. Triple windows looking out to the back. A pedestrian door eight-foot door going out to the lanai from essentially this bedroom and then it would open back to those double doors the plan three and the same double doors on the other side so that gives us a really wide open feeling when you're in the bedroom it looks like you would have a very good size walk-in closet it's bigger than your other one a little hard to see without sheetrock but high ceilings eight foot doors and then off of the bedroom as well you have your tub enclosure two windows your shower and water closet and then your vanity okay then we come back out to the center hallway here. To the left would be the kitchen and the front entry entrance. And now going to my left in the hallway, I've got this other very big bedroom with a lot of windows looking out. And that has a smaller closet, but nevertheless a walk-in closet, the second one. And then it has a smaller bathroom because these bathrooms are back to back. So this one is here. There's already water in the tub. It's weird. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, not a shower, or maybe it will have a shower. Now I think it's, I can't quite tell if that'll have a shower or not. But anyways, it's a tub for sure. And then, um, toilet and vanity. And that's all in suite. So that's a good size room. It's got a little shelf window area here. The windows are double pane. There's a pretty view to the West Maui's here. And they're nice because these double doors make the rooms feel so much bigger. So we're looking back to the master. Now we make this left and we come straight down the hallway and there's a linen closet here. That's the footprint. Nice size linen closet. And then we are Oh, the third bath. Wow, wait a second. Okay, I'm spacing out here. Yeah, this is the third bath. Okay, so there's another tub with water in it, and I can't get in there so easily, but that's back to back with that other bathroom. And then we go to the right, and we and they'll have a little art niche here at the end of the hallway, and some lighting at the top. And then we come in here, and this is our bedroom three. So we do get our third bedroom or office or den here and it's a nice size 
You'd probably put up some shades here because your eyes at their grade level. But also you might do a fence. I think I would do a nice white vinyl fence like that one across the way to create some privacy and space. I'm listening for the road. With the windows wide open, I can just hear a bigger truck, but not the road in general. And I'm sure with these windows closed on this side, close them for a second. There's a guy doing tile across the way, but. There's a big closet here. Really tall eight foot doors. And uh, it's a good size room. Really nice size room. So that is what we've got. So they got a long way to go, lots of finishes, but they're working on electric. Um, yeah. So I will send these to you and then we can talk and see uh, how you feel, what you think. I would guess, you know, that hillside is manageable, but it might be good. Um, it might be really good to get somebody in here um, doing your 30 day due diligence to tell you what can be done. And the people who did the house we sold in here for a million 20, uh, he had excavation done and they probably are pretty familiar. So it'd be good to check on that. The distance from the edge of this lanai here to where that hill goes up is three, six, nine, twelve. 15, maybe 17 feet from the bottom of this hill back. And if you could get another 10 feet, something like that, what you do is you dig this back and then you can you put in multiple layers and steps of planters. So, and you push it back as far as you can. The question really is, and it looks like it's been scraped there is, what's the status of rock because it can get to be much if uh you know if it's a lot of rock and there it looks like it could be but over here i can't tell i'm not a professional in this realm so you want to get some feedback here but at this end it may not be so maybe the place to go back is down at this end and um, that's where you do your pool and the other end stays more. Here's a pin on line here. Um, you know, and the other the other end might have to stay because of the rock. I don't know. Or maybe they can get it out of there. Maybe it's not hard. I really have no idea. I'm just calling your attention. So this is the backyard. And probably these folks, you can see too, they landscape the front and they leave the back for you to do. Those people put in Eureka Palms over there. People built walls for privacy. And whoever has this house will want to maintain their privacy too. Perhaps I'm going to do a new video too.